We pick a new president in less than a week. This week, we are traveling around the Lowcountry, visiting towns and gathering their Main Street perspective. News 2's Travis Rice hears from voters in Somerville. Every few years, Main Street blossoms with political opinions. And during that time, we ask folks to compare That's apples good. and oranges. Who are you voting for on Tuesday? <laughs> I don't know. Which one should I vote for? It's a hard pressing question. Well, what have you heard about the apple versus the orange? I might pick the apple. Why? I don't know. Apple is more healthy for me than orange. Some know their answer right away. Orange. Because? Because I want him to win. Citing it's the forbidden fruit for a reason. The apple's dishonest. It's, it's, um, that's what ruined the Garden of Eden. Sometimes with an apple, you don't know if you're going to get sweet or if you're going to get tart. So I want to do, I want to go with something I can trust. So I want something that's going to be good all the time. You think this is a bad apple? I do. Some people say we've had apples for a long time and they want oranges. Okay, okay, right, true, true. Well, then they're free to um, express that view. Man, I love apples and I love oranges, man, but, uh, you know, I'm just kind of on the fence right now. I don't and then there's the undecided fruit eaters. I just don't think that either one of, either one of them are really going to make our country any better than it is right now. I think it's a mess. I think it's a fruit salad. I think it's a perfect metaphor for the mess that this country's in. Fruit salad, you heard it from that guy. <laughs> Brendan and yeah. Carolyn, uh, one of the voters I actually talked to told me that he wished I had a third piece of fruit because we notoriously have a two fruit system. Right, exactly. But Banana? But, yeah, <laughs> I think he said artichoke. Oh, okay. Or artichoke. Okay. Okay. You've been, you were in King Street yesterday, you are in Somerville today, kind of talking to all these voters. Anything surprise you? Because it sounds like the majority of people you talk to really aren't happy with either candidate. Yeah, I mean, so far two for two in a, uh, in a lot of discontent against right. uh, the, the two current candidates. And uh, a lot of people are saying, well, let's just get through this in four more years, maybe something else. All right. Your small town talk continues? Yes. All right. Thank you. <laughs> we appreciate good. it, Travis. Thanks.